This being human is a guest house. Every morning a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes, because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. This has always been one of my very, very favorites, Fry Rumi. And I think it's super critical and important right now for all of us to really honor the idea of the aspect or the avatar or the story of Kelly or whatever you refer to it as. And notice that self-judgment and deprecation are not kind to yourself, but judging others is also not okay. We all get angry and we all get triggered. It's a very par very natural part of this human condition. How we respond to ourselves in those moments says more about us than how we respond to others. I feel this strongly. If I take even a minute to react and get angry with someone else, I've lost that moment with God. That is simply just a mirror showing up for me to take an opportunity to know myself deeper, more intimately. If I even make it about that other person, I've lost the invitation. The guest house is arising on purpose, and I think it's beautiful to be able to peer into our own projections and angers, resistances, and attachments. I thought about this today as I took a little walk on a path, visited a tree here in my little town where you can throw old shoes up, and it's very cathartic to be able to let something go. So I go there when I have that energy or that experience of wanting to rid myself or remove something from myself. So today was about that closure, looking and peering inside, seeing the reactions and staying true to my own heart and how I respond to people in situations.